I was f***ed up, but I made no excuses. I'm disgusted. I'm so sorry. Sean Diddy Combs, one of the biggest names in the music industry, now finds himself on a major legal storm. When he comes to a P. Diddy party, this is what happens to the white man. When they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to him. The rap superstar and founder of Bad Boy Records has been set on serious charges, including sex trafficking and racketeering. In today's video, we're going to talk all about that. September 2024, Diddy was arrested in Manhattan, and the charges were trafficking, racketeering, and transporting individuals across state lines for profit. According to federal prosecutors, Diddy's alleged crimes were dated for over a decade starting in 2008. New York, we did it! Harlem, we did it, Montgomery, we did it! The Bronx, we did it! Let's go! The key to the city! The indictment paints a disturbing picture of a man who abused his power to exploit women on what he called freak-offs. Let me elaborate on that. So the freak-offs are multi-day events, and these accusations are as serious as they come. And if Diddy was to be convicted for them, he would spend a long time in jail. The so-called freak-offs are the heart of the indictment. These were allegedly performances organized by Diddy and often including workers. Prosecutors say that Diddy used threats and narcotics to ensure participation. Victims were usually lured by romantic relationships to be subjected to these so-called freak-offs they couldn't easily escape. What makes this video even more interesting is that Diddy is also convicted for recording these so-called freak-offs and using it for the silence of the victims. This power dynamic, according to the prosecutors, allowed Diddy to control these victims' personal and business life. The allegations go beyond exploiting. Prosecutors say that Diddy used violence to take control over the victims as well. Reports detail incidents of Diddy showing physical force against the victims, like hitting them, kicking them, and throwing objects at them. Some of these incidents were even caught on camera. In one particular case in 2016, Diddy was caught on camera showing force to a woman at a Los Angeles hotel. When a staff member tried to intervene, prosecutors say that Diddy tried to bribe them to keep quiet. What makes this even more complex is the role of Diddy's employees. According to the indictment, some of Diddy's employees helped him organize these so-called free cops. Like booking travel, setting up hotel rooms, and assisting with narcotic supplies. These employees allegedly acted as enablers, ensuring that Diddy's criminal activities would go on without interference. Diddy has not pleaded guilty to any of these charges, and his legal team has vowed to continue supporting him on court, and they are saying that these accusations are exaggerated and untrue. But with this whole investigation, some of the victims and more that did not show themselves are continuing to come out and talk about this. And this case is far from over. If the charges hold, the fallout could be monumental. Not just for Diddy, but for the whole entertainment industry. What do you guys think about all these Diddy charges? Do you guys think Diddy actually committed these crimes? Or is, just, or is this just another celebrity targeting? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Anyway, stay tuned for all of these upcoming videos we're about to film.